welcome to wikitiki.com so we are going to talk about uh, some interesting interview questions for you and this question is asked in government exams too my name is venkat i am a microsoft most valuable professional you are able to see my profile in microsoft.com find the odd man out from the following numbers 10 14 16 18 21 22 Which one is odd one? Let's see. Looks like uh, these are all even numbers. Let's see. Okay, that's the answer. So we got ten even number, fourteen even number, sixteen even number, eighteen even number. Twenty-one is an odd number, and twenty-four is an even number. So twenty-one is the odd man out here. So that's the odd number. So the answer is twenty-one. Let's move on to the next problem. A card is randomly drawn from a deck of 52 cards. We got 52 cards. Among that, a card is drawn randomly. What is the probability of getting an ace, or a king, or a queen? That's the question. Probability of getting a king, queen, or ace. The total number of cards is fifty-two. Probability is number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes. Total number of ace card is four. So four divided by fifty-two, we got probability of ace is one by thirteen. The total number of king card is four, so four divided by fifty-two, so probability of king is one by thirteen. Whereas the queen card is four. Once again, the probability of queen is four by fifty-two, so one by thirteen. The probability of ace is one by thirteen. Probability of king is one by thirteen, and probability of queen is one by thirteen. The question is the probability of getting an ace or king or queen. So we need to add these things. The total probability of getting a ace or a king or a queen is equal to. Probability of ace plus probability of king plus probability of queen. So one by thirteen plus one by thirteen plus one by thirteen, we got the answer as three by thirteen. So the final answer is the probability of getting an ace or a king or a queen is three by thirteen. That's the answer. Let's move on to the next problem. A B, Krish and Jansi. They are in the proportion of a four is to seven is to nine. Eight years ago, the sum of their ages was fifty-six. What are their present ages? That's the question. Let's move on. The present age of Abi Krishan Jansi is in the proportion of four is to seven is to nine. So four x, seven x, and nine x. So according to the given condition, eight years ago the sum of their age was fifty-six. So four x minus eight, seven x minus eight, nine x minus eight is equal to fifty-six. Eight years ago, the sum of their ages is fifty-six. We got twenty x minus twenty-four is equal to fifty-six. So twenty x is equal to fifty-six. Plus twenty-four, we got two x is equal to twenty x equal to eighty. So x is equal to eighty divided by twenty, we got the value as four. So the value of x is four. We got the present age as four x, seven x, and nine x. So four into four, seven into four, and nine into four, we got sixteen, twenty-eight, and thirty-six. So the present age of a b is thirty-six, sixteen. Krish is twenty-eight and Jansi is thirty-six. That's the ages. So here is the final answer: sixteen, twenty-eight, and thirty-six. We got a lot of interesting interview question for you. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to see regular update from us. And apart from this, like uh, if you're looking for more videos, go to WikiTiki Interview Tips in YouTube.com for interview related stuffs. For technology professionals, is Wikitiki technology tutorials. 
For school, it's Wikitiki school, and finally for health, it's Wikitiki health and entertainment. So here is our YouTube channels. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular updates. And if you have any questions or queries, you can post it as comments in our YouTube videos so that our expert team will answer it. Here is our website and our Facebook page. Thank you from wikitiki.com.